Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and I just got in some new goodies from Arteza so I thought I would stop by and share them with you. I hope you'll stick around and see what I got. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Last month, I had Arteza week here on my YouTube channel. Arteza was nice enough to send me some watercolor goodies, and I played with those and created cards and other projects for a week, and ended that week by celebrating my 13,000th subscriber with a giveaway. Well, just yesterday, I did have to do a redraw for that prize, so make sure if you entered originally, you go check out yesterday's video and see if you're the new winner. If you want to check out my Arteza Week videos and see what I made, I will have that playlist linked in the description box below. I really did have a great time with those Arteza products. I had previously bought their alcohol markers and their regular colored pencils just with my own money, and I do love the price and the quality of their products. So when they offered to send me some more goodies, I jumped on the chance. So I wanted to share with you today the new things I chose, and then just like last time, I'll be back over the next week or two to share some new projects with you. If you're interested in getting some Arteza goodies for yourself, I do have some links in the description box below, and I have a discount code that is good through October 31st, so you get a great deal and you can save. Let's go ahead and see what I got. This first product is 30 blank watercolor postcards. Now they have postcards in other papers as well, but I had such a good time last month trying my hand at watercoloring, I'm definitely not an artist, that I thought it would be fun to make some postcards just to send out in the mail. In the tin are 30 watercolor postcards, and they are four by five and three quarters inches, so almost a four by six photo. It is a 140 pound, 100% cold press watercolor paper. It comes in a nice tin here. Let's go ahead and open it up. So first off, love that tin. When I'm done with my postcards, that will be handy to keep some crafty goodies in. So the cards have rounded edges and they come with a place to write the address, put your stamp, and to write your personal message. And then on the flip side, it is just a blank for you to add your artwork. Let me know below what you would do if you had a watercolor postcard. My first thought when I saw these on the website was to perhaps make some quick and easy Christmas postcards to send out in the mail. Now with these you would have to be careful about adding anything with adhesive just because it could fall off in transit, but if you were worried about that, I do have some clear envelopes so I might stick mine in that to mail. This of course would make it not the postcard rate to mail, but I think it would be fun just the recipient can see the note and the image as soon as they get that in the mailbox. This next product that I chose, I actually saw like a little video on Pinterest and I just loved the sparkle and shine of these watercolors. These are their metallic watercolors. It is a half pan set and there are 24 colors in here. It does say that it includes a water brush pen. Now my box did get a little dinged up in shipping, but I have shaken it around and it sounds like there's a metal tin inside of this. So I'm gonna bet that it turned out just fine. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. Yes, a quick glance and this metal tin is just fine. So it's a nice heavy metal tin. So on the inside are a couple flaps. I'm gonna guess that I can maybe use this as a palette if I wanna mix colors. And you'll see that each of the little pans is labeled with their number and their color. It also comes with that water brush pen. So 
So inside the box, there are some swatch charts for you. There's white watercolor paper and a black paper. That's kind of fun because it looks like then you're going to be able to see these on dark papers. Once I have everything unboxed, we'll go back and we'll do some swatching. So to get these out, they just kind of pop in and out of there. And then they just snap back in place there. So this next item is something I've been eyeing for a while. It is a set of four bone folders. Now I would use this for scoring paper on like my um, We Are Memory Keeper scoreboard where it has those etched lines. Because honestly, the tool that came with it doesn't work so well. And I've seen other people use these and it seems to work a little bit smoother. There are different sizes and shapes in here. The main one I'll probably use is this one on the right for when I score my cards to give them a nice crease. But I am looking forward to trying out some of these other ones as well. And finally, I got the six pack water brush set. I do have the water brush pen that came with the real brush markers and I enjoy that, but I thought it might be handy to have some different size brushes. On the back here, it shows there are three kind of fine tip in small, medium, and large, and three wider tip in small, medium, and large. Let's go ahead and see what these look like. First of all, I love how big the water wells or the water tanks are on these. The ones that I had previously, there wasn't much water in there and I am down in the basement where I don't have access to a sink. So it's handier when I can fill these up and it'll last for a while. Here are the three size tips that those came with. This one would be great for some detailed coloring of stamped images. And here are the wider brush styles. I did notice that when I was making my projects last month, if I wanted to do like a big water wash of color, it was kind of hard with that finer tip. So I think these will work out great for something like that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the watercolor set. I had previously unwrapped the Glowing Peach A706 and off camera I unwrapped A717 Frosty Blue. So I'll try both of those out on each of the papers given to me. I am going to use a water brush that came with a water pan set. I did go up and put some water in that. And I think that I just add like a drop of water to each. I also brought down a paper towel and I'm protecting my work surface with just a cheap cutting mat from the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but the colors are nice and shimmery. I love that effect. I'm going to set this to the side though so it can dry. Let's go ahead and see how the colors look on the dark paper. I don't think it's as bold on the black cardstock, but I do love that you can use this on something darker. Let's go ahead and let these dry. 
I gave the swatches about five minutes to dry and when it dries it's just this pretty kind of glittery color like if you've had white shimmer card stock it looks like that but it's in other colors but white it kind of gives you that glittery look without having glitter that can flake off and get everywhere I also wanted to see what it would be like if I was trying to color in maybe a stamped image where I had a certain area to stay within. So I got out one of the postcards to give it a try and I just colored in the box with those two colors and I love the way that looks on there. And this postcard worked out really well. It didn't bleed through or anything. So I'm looking forward to decorating one of these completely. This will get covered up by the stamp most likely. I cannot wait to try these new products and tools out. Again, if you're interested in any of these, I will have direct links in the description box below. Let me know which tool or product you would like me to use first in the comment section. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.